um, how much more stable electrons become as they go from one element to the other. So every time that happens, one element is losing, or element, ion, something. Something is losing electrons, something else is gaining those electrons. So you want to figure out how much more stable or unstable the thing losing electrons is becoming, the thing that's being oxidized, and how much more stable or unstable the thing being reduced is becoming. So you're going to, in order to figure out the potential of a reaction, divide the reaction into the reduction and oxidation halves, figure out the uh, potential for each half using your handy sheet that you're given in AP Chemistry, and then, let's see, well, make sure that the, the half reactions are written in the right order. So these are all reductions. These are standard reductions. So your reduction sign is going to be written in the right way. Your oxidation, you're going to have to flip the reaction, so flip the sign of your oxidation. Don't memorize that. Just, just look, see that it's written in the right way. Copy the potential exactly. If you flip something, you know instead of energy coming out, energy is going in. All right? Don't memorize. Think about it. Yes? Let's try one. Um, yes, so we'll try this one. So I want an oxidation. So I can see that copper is becoming more positive. Copper is being oxidized. So Cu plus goes to Cu2 plus. Got one copper atom on either side, so I just need to add electrons to balance the charge. This side's a one plus, this side's a two plus. I'm gonna add one electron. Now I've got a one plus on this side, a one plus on that side. So the thing being reduced is 10, 10, four plus. It's being reduced to 10, two plus. Okay, and to balance the charge, I can see that I've got a two plus on this side, a four plus on this side. I'm gonna add two electrons. And right away, this is good because I have one side producing electrons and one side taking on electrons, so this is a reaction that could happen. If both halves are producing electrons, there's a mistake somewhere. Okay, so every, every um, ion of tin four plus is gonna take on two electrons, so that means everything, every time this reaction occurs once, this reaction has to occur twice to produce those two electrons. So I'm gonna take two copper ions to make two copper two plus ions, and in that same time, it'll produce two electrons. Those two electrons will be gained by the 10-4, and this thing is balanced. I've got a balanced thing of producing two electrons, taking on two electrons. So two copper plus, plus S, and four plus. The electrons cancel up. Go to two copper, oops, two copper two plus. Yay. Okay, two copper two plus and a 10, two plus. All right, so now I want to calculate the standard potential. So I'll look these both up. This is my reduction. This is my sheet of reduction potentials. So 10, four, getting two electrons. Okay, 10, four, getting two electrons has a potential of 0.15 volts. So this step, the electrons are becoming more favored when they go to a 10, four ion than if they were with hydrogen. All of these are compared to hydrogen. That's why they're standard. We'll talk about that. Um, let's see, and then the oxygen. Well, I don't have what happens when, when uh, sorry, oxidation, when copper is oxidized, but I do have the potential of copper two plus being reduced. So my sheet will show me when Cu two plus is reduced to Cu plus, my sheet has that equation. It says that it has, oh, potential of plus 0.15. Randomly chose these. Okay, so since this is going the opposite direction, let me change this arrow. I'm gonna change this sign, negative. Okay, so here, negative 0.15. That means, that means that the electron is, um, as the electron comes out of the copper and goes to hydrogen, it's becoming 0.15 volts less stable. Um, I'm not gonna double this because all we're doing is we're talking about how stable is the electron with copper versus hydrogen. Well, it was 0.15 volts more stable with the copper, but I'm taking it away from the copper. So I add these up. This reaction has very exciting zero volts of potential. I really randomly chose those without looking. So yeah, so it is. The next, look at this guy. Let's assume these are aqueous solutions also. So I've got aluminum chloride, so a three plus aluminum, a 
1 minus chloride goes to 0 and 0. Then my oxidation. <laughs> did I do something weird? What did I do? Balance it. OK, I should balance it. Cool. Thank you. Three of these, two of these, and then I'm going to have two of those. Is that good? I've got six chlorines, six chlorines. Cool. Thank you, Max. OK, so the oxidation, I can see that chlorine is becoming more positive, so chlorine is going to be oxidized. So let's say Cl1 minus goes to Cl2. All right. And then my reduction is going to be, I've got aluminum going from a 3 plus to a 0. So Al3 plus goes to aluminum as just no charge. OK. So I'm going to add electrons. Actually, first I'm going to balance the halves. Two chlorines here. I'll put two chlorides there. Those are good. Then charge. This has a 2 minus on this side. So we'll add two electrons here. This is a 3 plus. Let's add three electrons. And now I've got neutral on both sides. OK. So every time this reaction happens, it produces two electrons. Every time this reaction happens, it takes in six electrons, or three electrons. So six is going to be the number that I could transfer. If I do this three times, six electrons will be produced. So six chlorides makes three Cl2s, produces six electrons. Okay. And then down here, I want to double this. So two aluminum ions will take on six electrons to make two aluminum atoms. All right, we're good. So that means I have six chlorides, two Al3 pluses, making three chlorine, Cl2, and two aluminums. All right, zero charge, zero charge, it's balanced. Then I'm going to look up the potential. Um, let's see. Aluminum's being reduced, so that I can just look off of here. AO3 plus. Okay. AL3 plus gaining three electrons. It's unfavored by 1.66, negative 1.66 volts every time that happens. Then the chlorine. So when I find that on my sheet, I see Cl2 gaining two electrons to become chloride is favored by 1.36, but I'm going the other direction. So it's going to be unfavored by 1.36, right? Because I flipped the direction. I'm not going to triple the voltage because all I'm saying is an electron is 1.36 volts more stable with hydrogen than chlorine. Um, so as it's, or actually as this, as it's leaving, it's going from the chlorine to the hydrogen. It was more stable with the chlorine than the hydrogen. So, okay. I'll go ahead and add these up, and then get three. So this is unfavored by 3.02 volts. So this reaction isn't going to happen on its own. It would go the other way, though. So good. Let's see if we have time for another one. Yeah, seven minutes left on my video. So let's try a couple more. OK, so we're going to balance and find the standard potential. So let's see. I have. Um, Fluorine by itself, charge is zero. Chromium by itself, charge is zero. Um, here the fluorine's a one minus, so this chromium's a three plus. It's aqueous, so they're all ions floating around. Something was oxidized. The chromium lost electrons, it was oxidized. Chromium goes to CO3 plus. You did pause, didn't you? And tried these, and now you're playing? Yes, yes, it's really good practice. Okay, atoms are balanced, I'm gonna balance the charge. The reduction is going to be F2. It's going to be reduced to F minus. These are all floating around. OK. It's negative on this side, not on this side, so I'm going to add an electron. OK. So, oops, let's balance the fluorines. I got two fluorines here. I'll put two, and so I'll have two. So every time this happens, three electrons are given off. Every time this happens, two electrons are taken on. It's like my favorite number is six. So I'm going to produce six electrons by doing this twice. Two chromiums making two CR3 pluses and producing six electrons. Those six electrons will be taken up by three F2s to make um, and six fluorides. OK, so I balance this guy. 
two chromium atoms plus three F2s makes two chromium ions, chromium three, and six fluorides. So this guy's being reduced, so I can take that straight off my sheet. Um, fluorine, when it's reduced, it is favored by 2.87 volts. All right, chromium. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, chromium three. Chromium three, um, let's see. Chromium three gaining three electrons to become chromium. So when this thing goes this way, when chromium three plus goes to chromium, that is unfavored by 0.74. So to go this way, it's going to be favored by positive 0.74. Okay? Since this half reaction is written opposite the direction it's written here, I have to change the sign. All right. Okay, so this is favored by 3.61 volts. All right, so the electron was becoming more stable as it last left the chromium and went to hydrogen. And then as it left the hydrogen and went to fluorine, it became more stable again. Because all of these are comparing with hydrogen. One more, oxidation. So let's see, I've got zero gold, zero chlorine goes to chlorine one minus, gold three plus. Okay, so gold was oxidized. Au goes to Au three plus. Chlorine was reduced. Cl2 goes to Cl1 minus. All right, I've got two chlorines here, so I'll go two. And then, let's see, let's balance charges, All right? Um, let's see, this has a three plus on this side, so we'll add three electrons. This has a two minus on this side, so let's add two electrons. All right, so seriously, every time I make it six. This thing is producing three electrons. This thing, every time it happens, takes on two electrons. So the number that three and two both go into is six. Let's produce six electrons by doing this twice. Let's take on those six electrons by doing this three times. I'm multiplying this whole thing by three. Okay. So I end up with two gold atoms gaining three chlorine, Cl2s, to make two gold ions and six chlorides. All right. So my reduction potential, chlorine gaining electrons, that's right off this reduction potential sheet, um, positive 1.36. I just copied that right off the sheet. Meanwhile, gold being uh, reduced on this sheet, sheet, A3, gaining three electrons to make, or sorry, AU, to make gold. When it goes this way, it's favored by a plus 1.5. So to go this way, it's going to be unfavored to be negative 1. 0.5. All right, we add those up, and I can see I've got a negative point, well, 0 0.14 volts. So even though the electron was becoming more stable as it went from hydrogen to chlorine, it became so much more unstable as it went from gold to hydrogen that this reaction is not going to occur in this direction. So the good news is, if you mix uh, some chloride with some gold ions, you shall have gold and chlorine gas, so don't breathe too deeply.